So I really wanted to show in this song that um, there's that moment when you start talking to somebody and there's like that special feeling you get. It's like that initial connection. And I had that with this person that the song's about. And then um, long story short, we ended up hanging out and it was a super great night. We did all this cute little date stuff. And then the next day she just basically stopped talking to me. And so um, the, the main line in the song is, I hate you, but I don't at the same time. And obviously I don't hate this girl, but like it's just for dramatic effect. And then I don't at the same time because you know, it's not somebody else's fault if they're not attracted to you, so. I wanted to make sure too that um, people could just really feel that. I think, you know, I've showed this song to a couple people um, before it came out and they heard it and they're like, damn, I've been through that before. That's me. And that's what I was really trying to accomplish um, as well as get into my own personal feelings. You say that you didn't mean to lead me on and that's all right, I guess, but I don't know how I just got it so completely wrong. Wish me you could have just one more night cause you invited me to your house and show me everything that's yours now. I'm stuck sitting here wondering what I'm even supposed to say next. So she never explicitly told me that she wasn't trying to lead me on, but it was kind of like implied based on how she, or how our communication was like after the fact um, that I had spent the night at her house, which I thought was kind of like, uh, monumental is the wrong word, but like I thought it was significant that like she had asked me to spend the night at her house. It was over our school break, you know, and I was like, okay, like that'd be super dope. Um, but then after things were just very different. I can't even seem to open up your snaps and I see you. I don't really want to look back. I feel stupid about it. You don't even know that you just made me feel some type of way. You said nobody ever up in your house, but you invited me. I don't know how I should feel now when I met your mama, but I guess it doesn't matter Wow, I didn't think you'd blow me off the next day. So this next part is my internal conflict, um, which I feel like a lot of people can relate to. After the fact, when things were different, it was really hard for me to open up her snaps um, because it was just, she was acting completely different and it was so different from even when I had just been at her house that I was like, damn, like, that hit me, that hit me, you know? And so um, that, was, that was a little rough. And then like, she had told me when I was there, she was like, you should feel special, like nobody ever gets to come over to my house. Like, she's like my closest friends, that's it. And I have just met this girl like this year at school. So I was like, damn. And I met her mom. I feel like me and her mom clicked really well. So I was just, I was feeling really good about it. And then uh, I guess I was wrong, you know? <laughs> I hate you, but I don't at the same time. I hit play, but I always gotta rewind to the day that you started playing my mind. Why you make me feel this way? I see you in the club, but I wish I didn't. Then you try to call me out, I'm thinking, are you kidding? But I say, hey, I can't be mad, you wouldn't even get it. I hate you, but I don't at the same time. So I wanted to write the hook to really have people feel inside how I felt. So I was really trying to bring out my emotions. Um, so the first line is, I hate you, but I don't at the same time. Obviously, I don't hate this girl, but it's just like that really strong emotion, like, damn, like I, I really thought we had something, and then you kind of like were bogus and like, ghosted me almost and so but I also don't hate you at the same time because I can't blame you for how you feel you know what I'm saying so it was like just a big damn <laughs> um, and then the second part of the hook was more like uh, specific to the situation I saw her in the club one night and she was trying to say hey to me she was like Amani come over here or whatever and she was dancing with another dude so I was like bro really and I still said hey because I like I said, I can't be mad she wouldn't even get it. You know what I mean? Like, what she can't control that, I guess. I mean, she can, but maybe in her head she can't. So I was like, I'm just gonna be cool. Like, I'm not trying to be bogus. I'm not that type of person. So um, I said hey to her, and that was a sad moment in my life. <laughs> Big low. But then after that, we really um, haven't talked that much at all. So I wanted to make sure too that um, people could just really feel that. I think, you know, I've showed this song to a couple people. Um, before it came out and they heard it and they're like, damn, I've been through that before. That's me. And that's what I was really trying to accomplish um, as well as get into my own personal feelings. Me and you, we click so fast. I ain't never felt nothing like that before. Our lives are on the same damn path. I didn't want to rush it, but it could have been more. So this part is pretty self-explanatory. Um, basically, me and her clicked really fast. We had so many common things in our lives, um, how we were brought up. I don't want to get into details, like expose anybody, but 
just know that we were very, very similar. You know, I'm sure a lot of you guys have felt that before. Like, you just be clicking with somebody and it was like, boom. And this was like, this was different than like 95% of interactions with girls I've ever had. Like, I really felt like we connected on a different level. And so that's what that part's about. But you wanna mess around every time that you're going out I mean we first year of college so I guess the time is now It's like a switch we used to talk and all you do is live it up It's been a minute though so I should probably give it up like So I think a lot of people know, especially if you're in college That year one tends to be the year where everybody wants to go mess around And talk to a bunch of people, you know like talk to a bunch of people But um, so you can't blame her for that but it's just that little bit of jealousy in me, you know, I'll see her out or I'll see her stories on Snapchat and she's with all these other guys and I'm like, damn, like, you know, and obviously like, obviously I'm not the only dude in her life, but I felt like we kind of started to develop something the night that I spent the night and then it was just like, she didn't really care. And so that was tough. And we, like I said, we used to talk all the time and now I barely talk to her. Like, I feel like she used to make an effort to talk to me and like, I feel like I'm always putting in all the effort. So then I just stopped talking to her really. And now we don't really talk, so I figure it's kind of time for me to move on, and now I've just been chilling, grinding on that music, you know? That is fun. I know! <laughs> yeah, you're getting the whole backstory. <laughs>